Hey everyone, I'm Jess and welcome to this class on making a foot maker. Oh my goodness. Now you might have seen my videos and I use this little foot maker all the time. I've got a couple of them. I love them. I can't remember uh, who, somebody once sent me one. That's how I got one of these little tools. And it's a tool you make yourself. So this is actually a class on not making pottery. It's a class on making tools so you can make pottery and make your own tools, which is pretty awesome. And we're gonna make this, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm a much better potter than I am like tool maker. It's not what I do, right? But I'm gonna show you how to do one and I'm gonna show you it's pretty easy to do. Even if you mess it up, it'll work. It's one of those simple tools. So come along and learn how to make your very own foot maker. Really, it's from a corn cob holder. So that's, that's like the big reveal, right? All you need is some corn cob holders. And of course, I have all the materials right here and I'll walk you through it every step of the way, just like I always do. All right, let's get started and make our very own foot maker. All right, here are our tools to make our foot makers. Look at them. So what do you need? You need some corn holders, or these are called corn, well they call them corn holders, some people call corn cob holders, and I found this company, Xylis, Xyliz, on Amazon, and I bought a pack of, um, well, eight basically, four pairs, so you get eight, so if you make these, you can make them for you and seven of your friends, or keep two and give six away, whatever you want, and there's other corn cob holders out there that you can go ahead and some places sell them so you can buy them already um, you know foot makers I should say already pre-made but I have found this one here is of a nice stainless steel it doesn't rust so this won't rust I have some other ones they do rust I will actually let me show you this is another one this one's not doing this one's not rusting so this one's good too um, but there are others that will rust so just keep that in mind so there's, there's a bunch out there. Um, and let me just say, before we get into the tools, watch. These will roll off your counter and work surface every day. Every day, that's gonna fall. It's gonna roll off. So what I have is I just have a little cup and I keep them in it, because if not, they just roll all over. Okay, so you need your corn holders. And I have a pair of utility shears I'm gonna use because these are zip tied into my package, so I have to cut those out, but you might not need those. Now, the actual and most important part after you have your corn, corn holders are a pair of pliers. These are linesman pliers, and they are a plier, but also a wire cutter. Now, this is what I have available for tools right now in my studio. There are other things you can use to make these, and you might have access to them, but I just wanted to try to make this as easy as possible. And the reason I have these pliers in my studio is because I have a kiln and I do kiln maintenance and these are very handy for that. So if you have a kiln, you might want to invest in a pair of linesman pliers. They really um, are really great. They're really great to have. And then a file to file your edges down. This one's from a company called Nicholson and it's a six inch, 150 millimeter black diamond file it's got three sides all the same grit uh, I don't know actually what grit it is it doesn't even say what grit it is it's just a black diamond file go figure so there's that a ruler because we want to uh, open these to a certain width so you'll need your ruler and then a pair of safety glasses because you want to make sure when we're cutting off little bits of metal you don't have little bits of metal go flying all right so there's what you need to make a, a foot maker Geez, did I even show you what a foot maker does? Well, it makes a foot, right? So here's a little foot, that little, that little strip right there. There's another foot. So it, it cuts little strips of clay for feet. Here's some little eensy weensy ones. Look how cute those little guys are. And then this one right here, it's upside down, on this, this double foot ring on this platter. So I use them all the time to quickly make feet for my slab built forms. So they're just really handy things. All right, let's make one. Let's do it. Let's move some stuff out of the way. I'm gonna put on my safety glasses right now. You can't see me in them, but I have them on, trust me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my shears, grab one of these guys out. Ooh, there we go, that got one out. So do you see I need to use the shears because there's a zip tie on it? 
so I um, could have done it ahead of time, but I thought it'd be more fun to do it here on camera. So now I have this out, and let's take a look at this right here. If we look at the end, you see how they're uneven and they're pointy. They are very sharp because they're meant to go into a corn cob. You're meant to stab food onto them, right? Here's my finished nice one that I made. So here's your difference. We're going to cut down the length, file them down so they're not sharp and won't cut us, and we're going to splay open the end here. So I'm going to start by cutting, so we don't need our shears anymore, we can move those off to the side. I'm going to start using my pliers, and remember there's that wire cutter bit right there. So I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to cut. Now I kind of have this at an angle to the, to the wire cutters, and I'm going to cut it down. It might require a little... There we go! Hand strength, it went flying. So look, we cut one side off. Trying to, so you can see one's blunt, one's pointy. So now we have to get them approximately even. There's another way to do what I'm showing you right now, and I'll talk about it after I show this. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I would do blah, 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 just wait a sec. We'll get to that. All right, cut. It does require a little bit of hand strength, so if you have a hard time cutting it, Get somebody uh, with really strong hands to do this for you. <laughs> Woo! See? They go flying. All right, so now we have trimmed them down. See, they're approximately the same length. This one on this side's a little longer. Uh, I'm going to take it down a tiny bit more. Just a smidge. Just a, just a little tiny bit. This is why we wear safety glasses. Whoop. We need safety guards for our pottery. I'm sending it flying. <laughs> so there we have the length. But they're a little sharp and a little uneven. So I'm going to use this file. And you could use a Dremel tool that has a file bit on the end. You could use a grinding wheel if you have access to one of those. And you could do it that way. All I want to do is just go around the edge. And I think, can we? Get in a little closer. How close can I get you? So close that you can see everything. So I'm just going to file the sharpness off. So you'll just hold this steady. You can even use a vise if you have one to clamp this in. What you really want is just to get rid of sharp bits. You don't want to cut yourself. All right, so here we are at this point. Two even lengths. Now, if you have a grinding wheel and you can use it, you know how, you could have just used a grinding wheel and grind this all down. You just take this and if my hand is the grinding wheel, you'll put it up against your grinding wheel and it will grind it completely flat. So that's the other option. But I wanted to show an option for those of you that might not have a grinding wheel, like me, right? So we use these pliers. So now that we have this, this is great. This makes a nice little strip, but it won't be tapered. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. I don't know if we can actually see on here on this little plate, but the foot is actually tapered. It's wider to a nice taper. This one might show it a little better. And I want that taper. So, we have a ruler. And if you look at this right now, it's just a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch. I want to open it till it's about a half inch. So we're going to take those pliers again, and I'm just going to grab a hole right there. And then we're just going to pull it out a little bit and stop. Now can you see it's just slightly leaning to this side over here? I'm going to do the same thing over here. Line it up, grab a hole, this is, and then pull it out. Now let's check. Do you see? See how they're now open a little bit? Let's check on our little measure. I want a half inch. Oh my goodness, did you see? Do you see that? Wait, wait. I'm going to put this on. I know it's all dirty and full of dust. I don't know if you can see. That's a half inch. It's perfect. Perfect. So now I have three. Watch out. I have three foot foot makers. Let me show you how I use them because I know you want to know. 
I mean, I showed you on finished pieces, and if you've watched my classes, you will have seen me use them on tons of things. But let's grab a bit of clay, and let's actually put this to the test, right? I'm going to move things out of the way. Let's just start with a clean slate, because I don't want to have things in the way. All right, I'm going to move my vice grips. And I grab a board. This, this, you know we're going to be getting into making some pots because the board came out. This is my favorite work board. This is three quarter inch birch plywood. And it is the best. I'm going to grab a bag of clay and we're going to cut off a little bit. This is just a quick demo on using it. I'm not actually going to show you how to make anything with it right now, but I am going to do just a super quick little demo just so you can see how easy it is to make feet with them if you haven't seen me do it yet. Wire cutter. I didn't even roll out a slab to get ready. This is like we're just starting. All right, I got my 25 pounds of clay. I'm just going to cut a little chunk off the top. We're not really going to because we're not really going to do too much with it. I'm just going to use it to show you how to make a foot. All right, so you're working, you're making your pots, and you need a foot. And you're like, oh no, I don't, I don't know how to make a foot, or I don't want to make a foot. That's fancy. I want something quick and easy. So take your slab. I'm going to roll it out quickly. And the great thing about this is if you want a really thick foot, nice tall foot, leave your clay a bit thicker. So I'm not going to worry at all about the evenness because this is just for demonstration purposes. So let's grab that pretty blue one I just made. That's this one. I know this is my older one because it's got clay up in it. This one is shiny and I've already got clay all over my hands. <laughs> it takes me all of about 30 seconds to get covered in clay. Uh, all right, so this is how you use it. You roll out your length you want right? And then you're going to cut strips. So I'm going to go side to side because I think you can see easier. Well, we could do front to back. Start cutting. I'm holding it down. I'm going to put my hand on the clay and then just nice straight pull through. And look, right here, we have a strip of clay. It is thicker at the bottom than the top, which is fabulous because, let me cut it, cut a nice clean cut. So you can see that kind of, that shape. What would that be, a prism? I don't know. I don't know my geometry that well. That's okay. We don't need to worry about that. So this is a great foot. You then would go ahead and score the bottom and attach it to the bottom of your pots. Like this, you know, you'd be attaching it all the way around. So there we have it. Foot maker. And you'll have to clean it off after look. Clay gets on it. Just scooch the clay off of it, just like that. This is why you want to make sure you file your ends down really well. You're going to be running your hands on this. You're going to be touching this. If there's any metal burrs or sharpness, you are going to cut yourself, and I am going to feel very bad. So make sure you file them. So there you have it, a foot maker. And it was really, really easy to make, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You just need to make sure if you're using the pliers, I'm going to grab my pliers. If you're using the pliers, here they are. Look how big they are in my hands, just so you get an idea. These are a heavy duty plier. There's no joke going on here. So I will admit they do require a bit of hand strength. So if you have difficulty snipping, get somebody else to help you snip them. Or if you have access to a grinding wheel, well, if you have access to a grinding wheel, you're going to grind your little sharp edges down, right? And then splay it out. You'll just need these for that. That's all. Well, and you don't even need these right here. Any plier will do. This metal is um, not a hardenable metal. It's a really soft metal, so they, they bend super easy. And honestly, I think, let me get my pack. I think when I bought this pack of eight, it was like five or six dollars. So five or six dollars for eight foot makers, that's not even a dollar a piece. That's like 75 cents a piece, 80 cents a piece. So you could make these and, well, you could make them and sell them. I'm not going to do that because that's a ton of work and I would rather make pots and not make foot makers. But 
Um, they are fabulous little tools and you saw it's so easy to do. You can make this yourself. You can make it. I made it. You can make it. And I don't make, t I don't do tools. I, it's not that I can't. I would just rather make pots. I don't want to spend my time making tools. But when it's something like this, this little thing, uh, it's too easy. You just, you know, you got to make your own. So I want you to make a foot maker. And if you don't think you need eight of them, get together with a friend or two and you all can make them together and give them away, share them, create gifts. I don't know, Work, working at a community clay center, they would love to have these. Okay, so there it is, how to make a foot maker. I'm letting the camera decide to focus on the actual foot maker. <laughs> because it doesn't want to. So now I'm going to make some pots. Not on camera. <laughs> but I'm going to make some pots. And um, I will film a class uh, for you all using a foot maker. And it won't necessarily be how to use a foot maker because we just did that. But it will be a class where I make something and a foot maker appears in it. Like it's a guest star. Okay. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me here, and I cannot wait until we meet again in the studio. Make this.